hello everyone welcome to my third video on lead code concurrency and in this video we're gonna be printing uh, zeros events and odd numbers uh, in a specific sequence so the problem is basically let's say we're given n of 5 what we have to do is print 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 so basically uh, the even the even method should be printing the even numbers the odd method should be printing the odd numbers like 1 3 5 and the zero method should be printing the zeros but the output should be in this specific sequence so what their lead codes test runners code is going to do is call these three methods in parallel and we need to write these methods in such a way that we produce this exact sequence um, now the the we used the java countdown latches in the previous videos and if we were to use the similar concept here we would have to create basically n countdown latches of size one uh, and that's very memory intensive right because we'll have to basically wait for the different latches and different points to coordinate uh, them so for this problem i thought a better way to solve it will be using the java semaphores because we can flip semaphores back and forth uh, basically they have two methods acquire and release and uh, it basically serves the same purpose so if, if you look at the java doc for the semaphore class uh, you can set how many semaphores are available um, you can acquire if there's one available it will let it pass and then you can release so when you release the semaphore becomes available um, so for this problem, what we're going to do is just use three semaphores um, for one for zero, one for even, one for odd, and we'll lock and acquire each of them to coordinate this specific sequence. So l let's get started on how to do it. So the basic thing we need first is to keep track of, uh, actually let me leave this here, we need to keep track of we obviously are printing zeros, but we need to keep track of what integer we printed last. So let's uh, start with a last printed uh, integer, which we we initialize to zero, because because we do, and this last printed we'll only keep track of the end. So basically, it will go from one to five, and by def when we start out, it's gonna be zero. So for the even, uh, we're going to, we're just going to say, uh, print number dot accept, uh, la last printed plus one, or we can just say plus plus last printed because we want after printing it, uh, we want to increment, we want to print, uh, last printed plus one, and then also increment. It. And similarly for, uh, the odd sequence. And here we just say zero. Now, if we do this, uh, like these three calls in, will be called in parallel, but they won't be printing this uh, sequence. So if you, if you, if you uh, look at it, if let's try to test it out, it will complain. Uh, let me just comment these out. It will complain that we passed it the wrong, uh, the wrong argument. So. So let's see how what we can do here. So um, here, first of all, this zero method has to print all the zeros, right? So it's not going to only print one zero because they're only going to call this one, this one once and this one once, but on parallel threads. Um, so we, we have to do a while loop to print all these numbers based on the n that's passed in. So here, let's see how many zeros we need to print right so we need to print n zeros so i'm just going to put a while loop saying while uh while num zeros minus minus is greater than zero we print zero right we'll get to the concurrency in a second we'll just set the stage first for everything that we need to do and here the number of odd numbers the number of even numbers that we have will be n over 2, right? So if n is 5, uh, n over 2 will be equal to 2 because by in it will use integer division. 
So if n is 5, we have two even numbers, namely 2 and 4. Uh, so we'll have a similar uh, loop here where we say while num even uh, minus minus greater than 0 print number. So next we'll do the print the num odd, right? So I think I'll just copy this here. So if there are two even numbers, the number of odd numbers will just be 5 minus that, right? So it's just going to be n minus n over 2. So in this case, n over 2 will be 2 and everything else, which is 5 minus 2, it will be 3 odd numbers, namely 1, 3, and 5. So now we have the stage set for uh, doing this printing. Uh, now let's create our semaphores to coordinate, to make sure that zeros go before and then evens and then odds. So zero, odd, zero, even, zero, odd, zero, even. Um, so for that, let's create three semaphores. So this will be the zero semaphore, uh, the odd semaphore, and the even semaphore. And all of these will be of just size one. So if you look here, you can set how many available you have. So we'll just use size one. Um, so like when zero is executing, it'll lock even and odd. And and when even is executing, it'll lock odd and zero. And when odd is executing, it'll lock even and zero. So, and then when they're done, they'll release the one we want to go next, right? So after even, uh, we want zero to execute. So we'll release the zero semaphore. Uh, also, after odd, we want zero to execute, so we'll release the zero semaphore. So you can see after every even number, it's zero. After every odd number, it's zero. And then after every odd, uh, we'll release based on the value of last printed, right? So if, if the last printed was uh, odd, we'll release the even semaphore. And if the last printed was even, uh, we'll release the odd semaphore. So let's see what it looks like. So let's first initialize our semaphores to just size one. So new semaphore one, and then it's gonna be the same for all three. And then, so the first thing we want to execute is zero, right? So what we're gonna do is in the constructor, we're going to acquire uh, the even and odd semaphores, right? So when we acquire them, since we only have one, uh, we'll have zero available. So after the constructor is called, uh, even and odd semaphores will be locked. So these can only proceed if someone unlocks the even or odd, right? So the initial state will be even and odd are locked. Uh, so when they call this in parallel, it will be guaranteed that zero will go first. And acquire can throw interrupted exception, as you can see they've declared it here. Uh, but we can't declare it in our constructor. So what we're gonna do is just throw in a try catch uh, and just convert it to a runtime exception. So catch uh, interrupted exception and we just convert this to a runtime. Throw it. So that takes care of our initial state. Now for here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna print zero, and then we're going to release. So if 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 our last printed is even, right? So meaning if it's if last printed mod two is zero, then the next thing we want to print is odd. So we're gonna release the odd semaphore so that can execute. Uh, and then else, if the last print, if the last printed is odd, uh, meaning it comes in the else case, then we're gonna release the even semaphore. And then after releasing, it will go back and check, like, do I still have more zeros to print? But before we print the next zero, we want to acquire, uh, we want to acquire the zero semaphore, right? So in the initial state, zero semaphores are free. 
because we didn't acquire them we didn't lock it uh, but before we print zero we acquire it right we print the zero and then we release the next one but we don't release the zero so whoever prints will release the zero so here after printing uh, even number we will re we'll release the zero semaphore so here uh, we should release zero semaphore and similarly here we should release zero semaphore because after every odd number we want zero and after every even number we want zero and then one more thing is before we print even we need to wait for the even semaphore so we 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 then acquired before printing the even number we acquire even semaphore and before printing the odd number we acquire odd semaphore so this should basically do it so let's let's go through to make sure it works um so th these three threads will start first the, this object will be created so we'll create three semaphores a zero odd and even two of them will be the odd and even will be acquired right and zero one will be free so now these three methods are called in parallel uh, let's say n is let's say take the same example where n is equal to five so in the events uh, in the the even thread will wait for even semaphore and remember we initially acquired it so it's locked so this will not proceed uh, of course num even will be will be two num odd here I will also or oh, this should be num odd actually num odd should will be uh, will be three right uh, so Th th these will start going into their loops but they won't be able to acquire their semaphore since we initially locked them uh, and here num zeros will be equal to 5 right so num zeros will be equal to 5 it will come here now zero semaphore we didn't lock it so it can acquire the zero semaphore uh, it will then print zero and then it will say if last printed mod 2 is zero it will release the odd semaphore so last printed our last printed it was zero right and zero mod two is zero so it will release the odd semaphore and then it will go back and loop so now num zeros will decrement to four right and then it will wait for zero semaphore so we acquired it last time but we didn't release it right so now it will wait here it will just wait here now even semaphore is still locked because we didn't lock it unlock it here uh, but odd semaphore was already unlocked so this line will then proceed it will then print plus plus last printed so it will set last printed to one and it will print one and then it will release the zero semaphore <clears throat> and then it will go back and loop so same here we acquired the odd semaphore but we didn't release it so it will come back and wait even semaphore was never released so it will just wait uh, but we re release the zero semaphore so now this will proceed uh, this will print again zero and then check last printed so here we incremented last printed uh, we set it to one so now last printed mod two is now one it will go ahead and release the even semaphore uh, so now this even semaphore can now be unlocked so it will print two and then it will release the zero semaphore so the, again it will go back and print zero and again the cycle continues the next one will be three zero four zero five until our num even num odd loops finish and when we print everything the all the loops will complete and the all the three threads will then terminate so let's see how this works So for our initial test case of three it passes let's try an even number maybe four it still passes let's try to submit cool um it got accepted so thank you so much for watching i think i hope you uh, learned something from this video and stay tuned for my other uh, lead code videos